The lovely characteristics of the fruit of the spirit stand in sharp contrast with the ugly features produced by works of the flesh, while man's carnal behaviour exposes an inner self-centeredness mixed with a casual disregard for others. The deeds carried out in spirit and in truth identify a man or woman whose life is abiding in Christ and yielding to God. The fruit of the Spirit is an inner grace that is produced in a believer who is submitted to the guidance of the Holy Spirit so that the life lived becomes a lovely reflection of Christ's singular nature and godly character. The heavenly fruit in Galatians 5 is only produced in a person who is continuously being cleansed from all sin and walking in fellowship with the Father. The fruit of man's sinful nature bears nothing but rotting sadness and sour pain, and the ethical character and political correctness of a believer who is straining to live up to certain socially acceptable moral standards in their own strength will similarly produce nothing but the bad fruit of the old sinful Adamic nature. Spiritual fruit can never be produced through man's effort. The fruit of the Spirit are not works that are done for God, however good and commendable they may be. They are behaviours that reflect the nature and character of the living Christ within a believer. They are attributes that are manifested in a child of God who radiates Christ-likeness because they are maintaining communion with him. The nine graces that together comprise the single fruit of the Spirit combine to display a perfect portrait of the Lord Jesus himself. Each of the nine individual qualities that are listed as the fruit of the Spirit have their genesis in the fountainhead of God's sacrificial love. The triplet of love, joy and peace demonstrates an inequality that permeates the entire disposition of the one that is producing this fruit of the Spirit as they grow in grace and are being conformed into the image and likeness of Christ through the power of the indwelling Spirit. The trio of patience, kindness and goodness are predominantly attributes that are displayed in gracious conduct towards other people, while the trinity of faithfulness, gentleness and self-control are hidden facets deep within that God alone can truly discern. The fruit of the Spirit is not made up of nine unrelated character traits where one Christian shows one particular attribute while being severely lacking elsewhere. They are not nine separate fruits of the Spirit that may or may not be manifested in a believer's life, but one indivisible fruit. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. While the fruit of the Spirit is a discrete list of nine specific godly qualities which can be individually defined and described separately, they must be recognised as one integrated and interlinked whole, such that when one quality is absent, then all qualities are absent. And when one quality is displayed, all must be present. The only way that the fruit of the Spirit is manifested is through a life that is consecrated to God and submitted wholly to the Spirit. Although indivisible, love has been listed as the first fruit, not from importance but as the foundational requirement from which the other spiritual characteristics flow. It is not the human love we enjoy from parents, children, spouses and friends, but the sacrificial love of God that can only be manifested from the Spirit himself. It is a sacrificial love whereby we give up ourselves for the sake of others and for the glory of God. Spiritual joy is from the Lord and gives strength and rejoicing even in the midst of problematic and painful circumstances, while spiritual peace is inner tranquility and godly composure that is free from anxiety through faith in God's word. When provoked, it is patience that demonstrates a gentle calmness of spirit, while kindness shows sincere consideration for others that reflects the compassion of the Lord. The goodness of a spirit-filled Christian is often demonstrated through gracious acts that put others before themselves, while faithfulness is seen in the godly individual 
who exhibits unconditional reliability. The saint who shows gentleness is one who has sacrificial care for another without being a cowering weakling. And the Christian with self-control is not easily provoked because they die to their own desires and indulgences for Christ's sake. While some people are adept at perfecting certain of their spiritual characteristics in their own strength, the fruit of the Spirit, which is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control, can only be genuinely manifested in a Spirit-filled man or woman. It is only as we grow in grace, become mature in the faith and keep a short reign of sin in our lives that we will produce the spiritual fruit that exemplifies the spirit-filled believer. Only as we live and walk and pray in the spirit and in truth will our lives produce the singular fruit of God's Holy Spirit and we will be equipped to say with Paul, it is not I who live, but Christ who lives in me. Loving Father, we desire to reflect the nature and character of the Lord Jesus and to show forth the fruit of his Spirit in our lives. Prune away all those areas in us that are inhibiting the growth of spiritual fruit being produced in us, and may we grow in grace and do only those things that are pleasing to you, for your praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you all.